Hello everyone. Today we will discuss about biosynthesis of catecholamines. These catecholamines are epinephrine or adrenaline, norepinephrine or noradrenaline and dopamine. These are the catecholamines. All the three ca catecholamines are synthesized from tyrosine. This epinephrine and norepinephrine, these are hormones produced by adrenal medulla. These are hormones produced by adrenal medulla. And this dopamine, it is the precursor. Dopamine is the precursor. All the three catecholamines act as neurotransmitters. They act as neurotransmitters. This epinephrine and norepinephrine are released at axon terminals of adrenergic sympathetic fibers. Axon terminals of adrenergic sympathetic fibers. This epinephrine and norepinephrine are released at axon terminals of adrenergic sympathetic fibers. And this dopamine, it is, in the, it is produced in nerve terminals, particularly in hypothalamus and diencephalon. It is produced in nerve ter terminals. So let's see the steps in the biosynthesis of catecholamines. Let's see the steps. For the biosynthesis, this tyrosine is taken up actively by cells of adrenal medulla, that is, pheochromocytes and neuroglial cells. For the biosynthesis, tyrosine is taken up by cells of adrenal medulla, that is, pheochromocytes and this neuroglial cells. So let's see the uh, steps in the biosynthesis. First step is conversion of tyrosine to 3,4-dihydroxyphenylalanine. That takes place in mitochondria. So first step is the conversion of tyrosine CH2, CH, NH2, COOH. This is tyrosine. First step is the conversion of tyrosine to 3,4-dihydroxyphenylalanine that is DOPA. CH2, CH, NH2, COOH. So, in addition to the third hydroxyl group, here in the fourth carbon, there will be a hydroxyl group that is called DOPA. That is 3, 4, this is, this is the third carbon, this is the fourth carbon. 3, 4 dihydroxyphenylalanine, that is DOPA. It is catalyzed by the enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase. Enzyme is tyrosine hydroxylase. This enzyme requires Fe++ tetrahydrobiopterin as the hydrogen donor. It requires Fe++ and here tetrahydrobiopterin that is FH4 acts as the hydrogen donor. This hydrogen this tyrosine hydroxylase enzyme is also known as tyrosinase. It is also known as tyrosinase. It is the rate limiting enzyme in the biosynthetic pathway. It is a copper containing metallo enzyme. It is a copper containing metallo enzyme. This is the rate limiting enzyme in the biosynthetic pathway. It also requires NADPH. 
also requires NADPH. That is the formation of first step is the formation of DOPA that is 3,4-dihydroxyphenylalanine. Then second step is conversion of this 3,4-dihydroxyphenylalanine to dopamine. So up to this step, this is my this is take place in mitochondria. Then next step takes place in cytosol. So this dopa comes out of the mitochondria into the cytosol. Dopa comes out of the mitochondria into the cytosol. Here in the cytosol, it is decarboxylated to dopamine by the enzyme dopa decarboxylase. Dopa decarboxylase, carbon dioxide is released. It needs B6 phosphate as the coenzyme and it is converted to dopamine. Here, this carbon dioxide is released. So, we will get CH2, CH2, NH2. CH2, CH2, NH2. This H will go there. So, CH2, CH2, NH2. This is the structure of dopamine. So, conversion of dopa to dopamine. That is the step. This takes place in cytoplasm or cytosol. This is cytosol. Dopa comes out of the mitochondria into the cytosol where it is decarboxylated by the enzyme dopa decarboxylase or it is known as aromatic L-amino acid decarboxylase. Other name of dopa decarboxylase is aromatic L-amino acid decarboxylase and it forms dopamine. This dopa decarboxylase enzyme requires B6 phosphate as the coenzyme. This is the conversion of dopa to dopamine. Next step is the conversion of dopamine to norepinephrine that takes place in vesicles or in, or in granules. So this dopamine from the cytosol for further reaction dopamine enters into the vesicles or granules by the enzyme dopamine beta oxidase. dopamine beta oxidase here vitamin C it is converted to norepinephrine OH OH here it is CHOH CH2 NH2 this is nor epinephrine this takes place in vesicles or granules so the next step is the conversion of dopamine to norepinephrine that is in granules or vesicles in granules in granules or vesicles here dopamine from the cytosol enters the Chromaffin granules of pheochromocytes or granulated vesicles of brain cells or nerve endings. This dopamine from cytosol enters chromaffin granules. Enters chromaffin granules of pheochromocytes or granulated vesicles of brain cells or nerve endings. Then in the granules or vesicles, this dopamine is hydroxylated by the enzyme dopamine beta oxidase hydroxylated to form norepinephrine this dopamine beta oxidase is a copper containing enzyme here vitamin c is required for the reaction here the cu plus ion of the enzyme is oxidized to cu plus plus during the reaction, Cu plus ion of the enzyme is oxidized to Cu plus plus during the reaction and it is reduced back to Cu plus ion by vitamin C 
it is reduced back to CO plus ion by vitamin C. So, this enzyme requires vitamin C for its action. So, this is the formation of norepinephrine. Next step is conversion of norepinephrine to epinephrine. That takes place in cytosol. So, again to cytosol, this norepinephrine enters into the cytosol. Norepinephrine, it is converted to epinephrine. By the enzyme methyl transferase, enzyme methyl transferase. So, it needs a methyl group. It is donated by this activated methionine that is S adenosyl methionine. It is um, that is the trans, uh, uh, donator of donor of this methyl group. Then this norepinephrine it is converted to epinephrine that is OH, OH, CHOH, CH2, NH, CH3. CH2, NH, CH3. So, this methyl group is donated by active methionine that is S adenosyl methionine. By the enzyme methyl transferase, this norepinephrine is converted to epinephrine is converted to epinephrine. So, that is that is the conversion of norepinephrine to epinephrine. This norepinephrine from cytosol, it, uh, the norepinephrine comes out of the chromaffin granules into the cytosol where it is methylated. So, this reaction takes place in cytosol. This methyl group is donated by active methionine that is s adenosyl methionine. The enzyme catalyzing the reaction is phenyl ethanolamine n methyl transferase. This is phenyl ethanolamine N methyl transferase enzyme. This enzyme does not take place in nerve cells. This reaction does not take place in nerve cells. In nerve cells, the synthesis stops at the norepinephrine steps. Further reaction does not take place in nerve cells. In nerve cells, the reaction stops at norepinephrine step. After synthesis in the cytosol, the epinephrine moves back to chromaffin granules where it is stored. So, after formation of the epinephrine in the cytosol, from cytosol, epinephrine moves back to enters into the granules or chromaffin granules where it is stored. That is the synthesis of biosynthesis of catecholamines. So, this is about biosynthesis of catecholamines. This is today's topic. Thank you for watching.